Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this wig. This wig was sent to me from RPG Hair. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes, and the direct links down below in the description box. So the wig that I received is 18 inches. The density is 180%. And this wig is a 13 by six deep wave lace frontal wig with loose curly edges. So the focus on this video is going to really be about the hairline and the loose curly edges. So the wig cap construction includes three combs and an adjustable strap. So the knots have been plucked and the knots have also been deep bleached and that's great because I don't have to worry about customizing this wig any further. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is tint the lace. I am using two different shades of lace tint. The first color or shade is the color of my foundation and I'll be spraying that along the hairline portion of the lace frontal. The second color is the color of my scalp which is a few shades lighter than my foundation shade and I'll be spraying that in the inner portion of the lace frontal. I'm doing two different layers of each color of lace tint and then blow drying in between each layer. Okay, so now that the lace is a perfect color match for my complexion, I'm gonna move on to styling. I'm gonna grab a spray bottle of water, my Denman brush, and my detangling comb, as well as a can of mousse. And in small sections, I'm just going to start by fully saturating the section with water, using my detangling comb to detangle the section, applying some mousse to the section, and then using my Denman brush to get these waves to pop. And I'm gonna follow those steps for the entire head. done with styling now I'm just going to grab this hair glosser apply it to the hair and then use my fingers just to smooth that product through the hair and then after that I'm just going to grab my diffuser just to give this hair more body and volume and to make sure that it is dry in time for me to put it on my head So now I'm just going to cut away the extra lace. I am going to pin these baby hairs out of the way because the focus on today's video is going to be the baby hairs and the hairline. I'm going to just pin those out the way and not get them mixed up with the rest of the hair. And then I'm just going to grab my pinking shears and cut directly in front of the hairline to remove that extra lace. All right, so now it is time to prep my skin for install. I'm going to grab some alcohol and then clean off my forehead. Then I'll be grabbing scalp protector from Walker Tape and applying that to my scalp. Grabbing the wig, I'm just going to place it on my head in its proper placement. The wig seems a little big for me. Um, however, I could just cut the ear tabs off for a more custom fit, but we're not gonna worry about that today. So to install this wig, I'll be doing my method of the makeup sponge and adhesive. And I'm basically gonna grab my makeup sponge, spray some adhesive on the makeup sponge, and then dab that product into the very edge of the lace. Then put my headscarf on for about 10 to 15 minutes to allow everything to set. All 
15 minutes later removing my head scarf there are quite a few hairs that have gotten stuck down onto my skin and onto the lace so i'm just going to grab my baby hair brush comb duo as well as this light hold gel from garnier fructis i'm going to apply that to the hair basically the hairline and then use the brush to basically get these hairs to loosen up okay so as we know the focus on today's video is going to be the baby hairs that came with this wig I did really, really, really like how the baby hairs looked straight out of the package, but as you can see, they did not go back to the original curl pattern as they looked. Like it wasn't as tight as it was when I first took it out the package after I put water on it. Um, and I did show you guys in the video at the end of the video how it looked fully dry, 100% dry, and the hair did not curl back up as much. I was hoping that it was a little less loose and more of a tighter curl. Um, I just really wanted it to have that same look that it had when it first came out of the package. I think it would have been super cute, but I am having trouble getting this hair to look like that. So I'm just going to mess with the baby hairs a little bit. And then I just decided because the focus is on the baby hairs today, y'all. I just decided to do like some spiral curl baby hairs. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks outside in the sun in case you're interested in seeing how well this lace melted Of course baby hairs are always always optional You do not have to have any baby hairs with any wig But because this wig did specifically come with baby hairs and curly edges I wanted to make sure that I did have the focus on the curly edges However, I do feel like they should at least make the edges tighter in the future just so that once you wash it it does have that same look again not to have kinky edges now don't put kinky edges on this loose wave wig but at least have the curl a little tighter than what it was before so that once you wet it or put gel or mousse or whatever you're putting on the hair it does still revert back to a curl that's all for now guys thank you so much for watching if you are new here welcome don't forget to leave your questions in your comments down below in the comment section let's chat all things hair down below in the comments and i'll have all of the information the promo codes and the direct links to the wig one in this video down below so don't forget to check down below thanks again for watching and i can't wait to see you all in my next video bye guys Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. I, I, I.